President Obama announcing his administrative fix to Obamacare and now Energy and Commerce Committee Chair Fred Upton calling on the President to work with Congress, not around them. And tomorrow the House will vote on Congressman Upton's Keep Your Health Plan bill. He joins us. Good evening, sir. Hey, how are you, Greta? Very well. So uh, does the President have the authority to do this administrative fix, number one? And number two, how is your bill tomorrow different from what the President proposed to do today with this administrative fix? Well, a couple things. Uh, we do think that he needs a law to change it, not uh, administrative authority. Uh, we want to send the signal as quickly as we can, uh, particularly as most of us, uh, all of us, uh, came back from our districts uh, from a week of listening to angry constituents who had gotten, in fact, the letter saying that their individual policy had been had been canceled. Uh, our bill is a little bit different than what what he's done. And uh, hey, I confess that I I oppose Obamacare. I, I thought the president's health care bill was was a lousy one. But what we ought to be doing is allowing folks to keep their plan, as the, as the president said, from the very beginning. And, and that's what we do. And we allow other if, if a plan was, in essence, authorized or, or uh, met, the, met the test earlier this year, uh, it, it is available for anyone that wants to get that plan. So, are you, so yours is forever, and you're saying that no, his well, is... No, well, it's for one year. For Our, one year. Ours well, is we have a one year. Then how does his, he, his is for one year as well. But what he does is he discriminates ag against folks who might want the same plan as their neighbor or somebody else had a, had a different plan. So you have to be in his he, plan he to begin with. You can't, you can't just admire somebody yeah. else's plan and say, I'd like that one too. Yeah, ours allows, if a plan met the test, anyone can purchase it. His plan is, in essence, from what I understand, just people that had it and nobody else. So right. it, it really discriminates against uh, right. other folks. Do you expect to get Democrats tomorrow? Have you done a pretty much of a head count on your bill? And does the president's offer of an administrative fix today sort of strip away the optimism of how many Democrats he would have had? Well, I'll say this. Uh, before he gave his announcement about noon today, we were thinking that we might get as many as 90, 100, maybe even more Democrats with us. A number of Democrats did co-sponsor our bill. Uh, all along, I thought we'd get at least 40 or 50. So I, um, that's my thinking. But nobody's whipped it, at least our side. We haven't whipped it. We'll see where things are. Uh, and we'll, we'll vote on it probably early afternoon tomorrow. Does the president have authority to do this administrative fix? I mean, there's just sort of a question of whether, you know, when the president's job is to execute laws, he can tinker with them a little bit, but he can't, you know, s you know step on uh, the legislative uh, powers of, of Congress if Congress has legislated on something. You know, here we go again. Uh, we want certainty to this. Who's to say he doesn't change his mind a week or two or maybe even a, f a few months uh, down the road? Uh, our bill, uh, we think, fixes or uh, allows the, the problem to be resolved. And so many Americans, I mean, uh, so I, I read, I, I told the story of one family in my district in, in Bangor, Michigan, whose rates in essence double. The, the uh, deductible goes up another $2,500. Uh, they've had this policy for 30 years. And all of a sudden, come January, they've got to find something else. Well, I'm still, I mean, I guess that doesn't really go to the direct question. I'm, I'm sort of waiting for that one constitutional scholar, that, cons that uh, professor who can tell me uh, whether or not that uh, something like this does over overstep why? or not. I don't know the answer to it, and that's why I put it to you. Well, well that's why our bill is a, is a better answer, because who, who knows uh, how his executive order is going to be tested? Is it going to be allowed to stand in, in court or not? Uh, ours is pretty fast and sends the signal. I mean, our leadership... Be, uh, scheduled our bill literally within five or six legislative days from the day that it was introduced to get it actually on the House floor. We're trying to do this quickly to send a message not only to the insurance companies, but also to in, the individuals themselves that, hey, maybe there is a chance that they can truly keep their plan if they liked it. Congressman, thank you. We'll be watching tomorrow. Thank you, sir. Thanks.